Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Flashback Fridays. It's been a little while since uh, I've had some Flashback Fridays going up. Uh, had a little bit of a hiatus. We're going to be going into Ratchet and Clank. This is actually something that was uh, requested twice by uh, one of my subscribers and that is uh, Azrael the Grumpy Hedgehog. I will leave a link in the description below so that you can check out his content. He is a content creator himself and yeah. Uh, let's get back into some Flashback Fridays and start Ratchet and Clank. It has been a long time since I've played this game. Like, super long time. Final step? Attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. I love that Clank is essentially a defective robot in this. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice on your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Oh, well, good. Thank you. So, usual sort of thing with these games, like... It's very much like Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, that sort of thing. There's a few different types of these games as well. I think games like Jack and Daxter I think was one of them as well. It was very similar to this. The camera is very weird. I always find that when you go back to games that you've played as a kid or whatever, the way the camera works is a lot different. I mean it's, it's not that it's different, it's just it's a very odd camera. You can interrupt help desk messages by pressing the triangle button. Okay, good. All these frog exploding frogs. Interesting. To activate it, use the R1 button. And then press the square button. That's nano. Nice. Whenever you sustain injury, let Gadgetron's patented nanotech system enjoy your body from the inside out. Such an odd game. I don't even know what way we're meant to be going. Yes! <laughs> I've, I've skipped a little bit, haven't I? I could have gone around the outside of this too. I mean, it doesn't look that bad either at the, like, in terms of graphics, considering how old it is. 
Here's your bomb glove. Press the circle button to equip it, and the circle button again to fire. You can also use it in first person by holding down the L1 button. Oh. Plus some health. Let's go get that nanotech technology or whatever it was. There we go. Okay, so now we're at the crash site. That's Clank. He just, just fucking take it, abducted him. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. <laughs> Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the <laughs> radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But <laughs> I, Chairman Drake, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. <laughs> Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! <laughs> the people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. Of course you are. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. It's not a bad offer, but now he's got some baddies to take Gee. on. Not. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great. So the superhero is actually so that's working where I've for been him. stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Please to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. <laughs> so you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous. I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, <laughs> you have no choice in the matter. Negoti negotiating when and what he takes from the planet. That's great. <laughs> or at least he's trying. I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! <laughs> okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! 
He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Okay. Do we just destroy the ship? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. <laughs> if there are any left. Let's see what going the other way does. It might just be that there's just these two boxes. But you never know. Nice. Love that. I, I, I don't think I really played this much as a kid. I think it was more my brother. I think probably my mum. I don't know. She used to play all the Spyro games as well. I assume she's... Gotcha. Oh shit. Little bastard bit me. Okay, so we're outside again. Oh, it's literally brought us back up here. What? Okay, so now we've got to go back up this way. Ugh. One minute, we will get up this. Okay. Ooh, okay. We're there, we're there, we got there. We're good. Don't you try and bite me, you little bastard. Get out of here. Right, don't run into those, uh, those spinning blades. That will hurt you. Stop shooting me, that'd be great too. Oh no, you are meant to go over there. And we can go get up over there. Okay. It's all very simple at the moment, isn't it? There we go. Ah, oh, bollocks. Let's walk rather than run. He says as he sprints across the, the pad. We're almost there now. Jesus Christ. Got cocky by thinking, oh yeah, I'm at the end, I won't fall off now. Oh, he's fallen off now. Alright, Ratchet, we got this now. Run! There we go. What can we fall off here? Oh, uh, apparently nothing. <laughs> look, the plumber's cracked. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. Alright, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough volts. Working people have to wait for wow. Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of volts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Jerry! 
Um. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? That to me tells me. Mayday, uh, Mayday! This is the Solar Ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks <laughs> like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, <laughs> kid. Let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Oh dear. <laughs> Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. See ya. Okay, so this is the next part of the level. And they blow you up. Boom! Gotcha, bitches. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, sweet. Yeah. The blowing holes in it. Oh, dear. Good, good. We haven't fight a boss already. <laughs> don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I, I, I'll tell you anything. Here, take my info box. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on, let's see what he's got. What you saying, info bot? Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's <laughs> nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? <laughs> you said it, pal. So if you're fighting <laughs> crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's Quarktastic! Do you That's know cool. What this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. <laughs> what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Will this be our ship now. Nice. That's where we're going to leave. Episode 1 of Ratchet & Clank. So as always guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more Ratchet & Clank as a part of my Flashback Friday series, then please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.